What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Mario RPG and the last part we did now uh, then uh we, we got some info on where the uh, next star is and in this part we got to uh we're gonna go to Land's End basically hopefully where it is so uh see where it is so uh see where the Land's End see where the uh, so we just have to go to the edge of the world this is like the we're kind of approaching the end of the game because if we look at how many um we have about Five out of seven star pieces and once in Smithy's castle. These are new enemies, so um Pink Flower. Now I think they're weak to fire, so I just need to I'm just gonna double check with Malik because I'm not risking an attack with Mario. Yeah, they are weak to fire, so I have to get to show off Super Fireball. So uh DIE! That only did 16 damage for whatever reason. How'd that do 16? It said it was weak to fire. What the heck? What gives? But it's okay. We can show up Gina World. If you time that right, it does 9,999 damage, but I could not get I cannot time it right. Anyway, this is like the this is the uh, Paratrooper shell. They're like the Cooper shells, like stronger. Now, I want to take out that enemy first because A, it's a special enemy, and B, um, you heal. So, any, any enemy that heals, you want to take it out first, let's just say. Should be almost down. Yeah, there we go. Now, we're gonna. Oh, fuck! Hey, pick me up. First of all, we need to switch from Mario to Peach. Do we have two special enemies? Hold on a second. No, it just did a lot of damage. What gives? I was increasing Mario's attack. There we go. Die! We die too. There we go. This is the Chows, they have the, they're the weakest of the bunch, but uh, yeah, that was a pain in the ass. But hey, we get a lot of XP, so if there's any grinding, good grinding spot, it's here, let's just say. You can get a lot of XP. Alright, so uh, got another battle, and new enemy! So uh, these enemies, a couple of new enemies, actually. There's, these the uh, Get Kits, I think they're pronounced, but uh, anyway, one hit and they're dead. They're easily the weakest of a bunch of these enemies, but, um... Forget what the, uh... I think, uh, they're one of these enemies weak to fire, but I'm gonna have to double, really, really double check. Now, um... When it comes to Mario's attack, now, um... One of the reasons I gave the XP boost to Mario is to give kind of a, uh... A kind of a, uh, nice little, uh, XP... So kind of see if I'm gonna up a couple more levels because when we're going forward, Mario is going to be the best member of our party. Let's just say because we did 30 super jumps, so because of that, oh, we also got a level. But because we did 30 super jumps, we're gonna get a nice accessory. Now, um, Mario's level 13, so again, physical. Okay, so uh. Again, I'm trying to avoid enemies, but I want to get like a hey new enemy. I mean, these are the stingers that like the bees in the forest, except stronger. You get a once again. I think after uh, I get the attacks from Mario, I think I'll give Gino the XP boost because Gino's another one of those physical attackers. So I guess it'd be nice to give him the XP boost. Seriously, the Mario just did 256 damage. No, okay, good. We didn't get a battle. But anyway, this is the second part of Land's End. This is, uh... I guess we can show off this many. This is Sky Rays. We've been down here. So, this is a really good way to grind frog coins. We'll challenge it. Five coins, we need next nation. You can cross the sky one of three ways, however, if you fail any time, you lose. Normal cross blocks won't fall, you can jump. So anyway, so um on the special if, if we do the special, if we do the expert course, we get a frog coin. So 
If you have a bunch of coins, let's just say this is a really good way to uh, grind frog coins. Because I failed right there. Oh, yeah. If you actually clear in the expert course, you can get frog coins. If also, if you clear it in the expert course, you can double it. If you're, if you're really good at this, this is a really good way to grind frog coins. Here, we've talked to this guy. Ah, I haven't been around here in a while. I've been trying to visit around a lot. Where are you headed? Is Monster Town by any chance? Okay, listen, I'm looking for the world where the ant pops up and proceeds after it. Keep on it, you find where you're Once there, Monster Town is just around the corner. I'll see you there. So he basically gave us a hint on where to look for Monstro Town. So, uh, yeah. So what we're going to do is uh, look for new enemy first. These are the Bezos from, uh, it's a nice little thing from Mario 2. Anyway, so, um, they did 43 damage, but, um, why do I keep missing? And Gino's dead. So let's go to Bowser. Die already? Okay, good. I will admit, they're a nice addition, but sometimes fighting special enemies are just anointing for the frog coin. I'd say getting the XP boost is easier in the remake than it is in the original, let's just say, uh, because you can get frog coins easier. Whenever I play the original, I do have to grind frog coins, let's just say. I might do some grinding also because I might be a little under leveled, let's just say. I don't know. I'm not doing as much damage as I do in other playthroughs, but um. We're almost a level up though, but uh, let's go back to Gino and let's use uh. Mid mushroom on him. We have to actually um go here. Talk to this guy, which is actually an enemy. I said, it's not an enemy. What am I even thinking? That was an enemy. But it is an enemy. Anyway, I cut out the battle, but, um... Hey, we're actually, we're actually at a level up. Anyway, so... Mallow's level 13. Again, let's go special, and, uh... Bowser's level 13. Let's go physical. And we should be almost at a... To get rid of this guy. Ooh, so close to a level up. Anyway, so uh Peach actually got knocked out that battle, so uh anyway, so here's what I strongly and I mean strongly recommend doing. First of all, let's group hug. Think of the Super Nintendo version. Oh yeah, let's get a star. Level up, level up, level up. We're gonna get quite a bit of level ups, let's just say. Did everyone just level up? Hold on a second. Mars level, Mars level 13 learns Ultra Jump again, physical. And Mars level 15, and again, physical. He has level 13, again, physical. He's level 13, and he should learn Comeback, again, HP. So, yeah, uh, we're pretty good with. So. The best thing about this place, let's just say, is that uh, if you go behind here, you're looking for a star at seven four cards. I think you can go back and do this over and over again, but I could be wrong. We'll have to go back and later and really test it. But um, we'll get more. We'll get more XP. 
We're gonna level up. I think it's Mario. It's actually Mallow. Mallow 14 went snowy against special. And Bowser's level 14 in the uh, physical. So we got quite a bit of level ups, let's just say. Now we're actually in Belom Temple. Now if we, we want to get, uh, I recommend getting these coins because if you talk to this guy, we have to pay him 50 coins to get his fortune told. So, uh, those three blocks and we get a note. If you proceed to the pipe next door, you'll my you'll yeah, so um now um actually I'm not thinking of something different. Oh by the way, that can change also. It could be enemies or it could be like uh an item or anything. Oh, this is the new this is the only enemy we haven't seen yet. They're like the uh ones they're like the ones you, we saw in the forest, only stronger, but uh yeah, believe it or not, a lot of this is a Super Nintendo game. It's a remake of a Super Nintendo game. So like, a lot of the enemies are technically the same enemies, definitely stronger. Paper Mario also has that thing. Anyway, Gino and Peach leveled up. You guys leveled 14 on Gino Blast. I was really hoping you'd learn that move. And uh, Peach is level 14 and uh, we'll do HP. Anyway, so Mario leveled up, and uh, he's actually really far ahead in levels of the others, so uh, I'm actually going to uh, change what I give the XP booster to, because um, I think I'll swap out maybe, uh, let's see, um, I'll give, I'll, we'll give him the, uh, give him the booster's charm, and uh, I'd say let's give Peach the XP booster. Actually, I take that back. Let's give Gino the XP booster. Let's give Pe let's give make Peach have the safe ring and uh, give Gino the XP booster. Now this is pretty random, I should say. Sorry, I'm not packing here. You want him to say, "Hmm, I'm so hungry. I wish I had something to eat." If I don't get it, sure, I'll cut till I see it. But um, yeah, sometimes you have to leave the room and come back till you see what you want. Yeah, it took me two additional tries to try it, so, to get it, so... Yeah, so, it's Belom Temple, so... We're actually, believe it or not... Fighting Belom a second time. He's a little different than the first time, let's just say, so, um... So again, we're gonna Geno Boost Mario. I actually succeeded this time. And, uh, now let's try to see if we can super jump Belom. That did 691 damage. Still not 100 though. I'm gonna have to grind out 100 off, like off screen, I think. Uh, anyway, we'll group hug. Super jump one more time. This is a really quick way to take him out, let's just say, if you're good at super jumping, or really any boss.
691 damage. It didn't even show off its best move because he can eat people and make them transform, but I didn't even show that off. That's how quickly I took him out. Anyway, so... Now we see the rat again. Hell ho again. That pipe is showing up in my home. Mosh time. We'll see you there. Anyway, so we're in Monster Town. So before I cut off for this part, I want to show one thing. The right house. So the Super Jump is especially right. Those multiple temperatures are pretty amazing. I heard the record for the Kentucky Jump Stand Fit 3. How do you do it? A record like that sort of rise. We get the Attack Scarf, which uh, drastically, and I mean very drastically, increases our stats. Our attack goes from 170 to 193. If you can get the Attack Scarf or the reward you get for 100 Super Jump, you can make Mario the best of your party last year. But I'm actually going to cut off this part of Super Mario RPG. So next time Super Mario RPG, we're going to see what's up in Monster Town. See you guys then.